this is video 503 how the devil stops our prayers this video is my journey based on this video i will place the link in the description box below i watched this video early last year less than a year ago but with every new prayer campaign that i start i can see this video it somehow always stays within my subconscious mind May you too, when you invest some time in a Bible study or any study of the spiritual realm, may it also be this low GI type of food, food that lasts you a while. When you eat takeaways like a, like a McDonald's burger or even KFC, you are hungry again an hour later. But when you eat a good, nutritious, low GI meal, like something with chickpeas, you are full and have slow releasing energy for hours to come. May you too experience this with our spiritual food, that it lasts you a long time, just the same way that this video made a lasting impact on my journey with God. This is one of my favorite quotes of all time, the darkest hours just before dawn, Napoleon Hill. And I know this is a fact, just like the Israelites who cried out to God to help them, to deliver them from slavery the Egyptians had placed them under. Before God miraculously delivered and saved them, it got a little bit worse. The enemy or the Egyptians made the work more. They had to collect their own straw to make the bricks with, hence doubling their work, but not doubling their resources not increasing the workforce and then only did God start with the ten plagues to release and save them on a miraculous manner. The darkest hours just before the dawn. Once again, even with the Israelites, even with us. The reason I believe is based on the video link I placed below in the commentary box. The devil sees that we are touching something that could cause him harm. So he too will increase our workforce in order for us to focus on something else instead of the prayer campaign we launched recently. This happened with me personally. The beginning of 2019, each year I choose a word, something I look for in everything I do. This year my words were three at this stage, but one of them is drama free. I want a peaceful year this year, no drama, no distractions, just focusing single-mindedly and single-heartedly on finding the kingdom of God, of making heaven a place on earth. I did a thorough study. I'm actually still busy with it on the sideline, on peace. Literally, every, literally praying every verse over my life in the New Testament with the word peace in it. I started with this prayer campaign, then I described it into the encouragement messages I sent out on WhatsApp daily. At this stage, two months of the year are dedicated to the peaceful messages, the Shalom messages. Shalom is peace in Hebrew. But boy oh boy, did I upset the Egyptians, the enemy on this journey. The first week I stumbled upon a friend of mine whom is at this stage, at the age of 36 years old, the same age as me, and she was diagnosed with full-blown dementia. The medical world is baffled and dumbstruck with this appearance. Her family is devastated. I can still recall the words of a sweet and loving older brother saying, My little sister, my baby sister, has dementia. A brain is like an 80-year-old granny, daily dead degenerating and decreasing the brain function. Her three little kindergarten kids do not have a functional mummy anymore. Her husband, who is working abroad, is also devastated. This trauma and the cloak of an uncertainty surrounding it made me lose my peace for about today. The following week, exactly on the same day, a Thursday, it is the third, first day of the week that I dedicate to the passions of my heart, ministering, Bible study, whatever the Spirit leads me. 
You see, I only work three days a week on a normal paying work. The other two days, Thursdays and Fridays, are dedicated to God. And boy oh boy has He blessed me these two days. Please watch my video on the Godly Adventures. I'll place the link below. So the following Thursday, exactly on the same day, I actually checked my notes. These two incidents must have happened within a half an hour window of each other. I went with my friends to, to renew my passport. Declining a trip and a broad trip based on the fact that you do not have a passport, I believe is a grievous sin. Only in the Nadia world does I suffer from serious FOMO. So I do not have any international trips, holidays or adventures lined up for this year abroad. But I have a serious urgency to renew my passport. This is almost normal. This almost normal activity has turned into an obstacle laden joke. So many obstacles. But then my friend sent me this video and take courage my out of control heart. Whatever the, the enemy, second video if he is the fighting sequence, your finances, the follow up of this then your enemy follow. is afraid of what you would do if you had resources. If he is fighting your marriage, let me tell you something right now, then that tells me there is something the enemy fears about your union. If you have a child that is just wayward and continues to battle adversity time after, and like he can't ever get his life straightened out or her life straightened out, there is something the enemy fears about that child. You, you need to examine the places in your life your enemy fights because it is an indicator to you of what he's afraid of. He would not spend that amount of time and energy in that area if there was not something about it that he feared.